One, three, five, seven. Ah, thank you for pointing it out to me, aggro. Yeah, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty long time limit there for Hydras, and that's because, well, this one is a lot of patience. Yeah, and that might not be time attack friendly. <laughs> But, uh, basically what you're aiming for here is to do it in two of its cycles, I guess you could say, of getting on its body. Because, generally, you don't have enough time for three, and, yeah, you want to take out the luck factor as much as you possibly can here. So, when you're aiming for those electrical barbs, you want to get them on the absolute first shot you can get them on. Uh, I'm going to try and head it off at the pass here. It's going in that direction, it looks like... So yeah, I'm just gonna wander around here and listen for a sound cue. You want to hear like a or something like that. That was my best imitation of it. <laughs> okay, where is it? Where's the sound cue? That's the sound cue, okay. So now it's gonna start coming towards me and now I gotta get in position here without getting electrified. I like to move the camera vertically like this so I can see directly above its body as to where I am in position to it. And just as long as I stay ahead of those barbs and then start following them, I'll be able to grab onto the tail when it comes up to the surface. Voila! Alright, so that is about as fast as I can figure how to get on it. I just hope I don't fall off it like I do on Avion sometimes. <laughs> but let's not look at the bad stuff, let's look at only the good stuff. Okay, so now at this point, you want to make your brakes and run forward as much as you can and as quick as you can. Trust me on this, you do not want to waste time because you want to get as much damage done per cycle as possible. And each cycle can take quite a while. <laughs> it all depends on the RNG of the body. Hence why there's such a long time limit there too. And go, 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 go. And also watch for the coloration of the fur. That'll give you an indication as to where it's safe to hang out. Uh, basically like the transitions between where the electrical fields are. Like I'm gonna stop right here because it's just below below that uh, yellowish color type thing there. Yellowish brown color fur there. It's a mixture of colors. And, uh, and then now I'm gonna go for the spine portion and I'm gonna do it really hard. Yeah! To try and disable it, yes. See, the idea is to disable them in just one stroke and one stroke only. Because you don't want to waste time, as I said. You want to get this done ASAP. <laughs> and see, I'm staying just outside the field by watching the colors. That'll give me a, as much time as possible to start my stabbing cycle on these stinkers. Alright, there we go. That's two down, one to go. Please don't do the deep dive, because I would like to get the third one out of the way. Uh, I'm gonna go like this all the way over. Oh, zoinks! <laughs> no deep diving, please. No deep diving. Uh oh, I think it just deep dived. It deep dove. Um. Uh, yep. I'm gonna have to redo the cycle. That's okay. That's okay. I have enough time to get that barb and its head taken care of on the next cycle. But the thing is, you have to get it done in two cycles to have the best chance of doing this. So, yeah, just focus on as much speed as you possibly can. It's okay if you miss one barb on the first run, though it's ideal if you get all three. Of course, you know, the most damage is possible, as I said. Okay, now we're... No, that's not the sound. I was gonna say, we're looking for the sound cue again. I'm trying to stay above where its head is and the direction it's going. Uh, don't turn that way. <laughs> uh, wait, is it going back the other way? Yes, it is. Okay. Hi there. You can, you can see, there's the sound cue. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> okay, wait for it. Same, same technique here. Just get above its body with the camera vertically above it. And then aim for the tail as it comes out of the water. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Wait, 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 wait. I'm a little ahead of it. Actually, that's good. Because I'll be able to grab on really far ahead this time. That's excellent, even though the camera is not cooperating with me. <laughs> That's alright, though. That's, That's going to save me quite a bit of time, actually, having to do a couple of 
in and out water cycles here. Uh, you know, otherwise I'd have to wait for at least one more of them to get to where I am right now. So that is sensational, actually. Unless this is going to offset the way that it acts or something like that, but I hope not. I really hope not, because this is going pretty nice overall. Okay, I think I can, yeah, I can let go and run. And I, I gotta get the same sort of position for that last electrical barb. And I'm gonna go along this side because his body is tilting the other way. And... Ah, got it! <laughs> I was a little worried that I wouldn't be able to grab onto the, the fur in time, but it, I made it. Okay, and... Get ready to stab! Mm. Uh-oh, did I get it? I think I, yeah, I got it, yes! All right. Now let's go for the head one. This is it. This is it right here. The, the final countdown. Mm! <laughs> now the idea here is not to go for maximum strikes because there just doesn't seem to be enough time to do so. So just go like maybe a little bit past halfway of your stamina gauge, uh, you know, your charging, and then stab away as best you possibly can. Ah, like that. Just keep doing that until it's dead. In fact, I should, in theory, have it this time. Ah! Oh, ho! a little bit left. A little bit left. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Just one more. Good one! Ah! Yeah! <laughs> that went smoothly. Kinda. <laughs> See, it's got, it's got a decent amount of extra time there, just in case, you know, for all that RNG going on there. Similar to Avion, in a way, but, you know, like Avion, you may fall off at random too, so, yeah. <laughs> Shadow of the Colossus is an extremely fun, exciting, and artistic game, but sometimes it has those sorts of problems. <laughs> and where is... My attack. I'm looking forward to the to the attack. There we go. There. Okay. <laughs> now, since I defeated another two colossi, you know what that means. A new item will appear in the wishing well. Well, not wishing well. It's not like a wishing pond. <laughs> And there we go! Uh, I think it's this way, yes, okay. Because I was on the um, right side of it, so... I go this way, yes! Alright, so what do we get this time, and will I be able to demonstrate it? Maybe! <laughs> Alright, Dorman. What is it? What is it? Tell me! That is the fruit tree map! By using it, thou shalt be able to find the fruit trees throughout the world easier. Now, if you're wondering how I was able to find the fruit trees, this is how. <laughs> yep. I'll show you my map in just a second here. You know, once this little cutscene ends in here. So, and there's also one for the lizard tails as well. Uh, fruit tree map, voila! Look at that! You can see all the fruits on the map. Uh-huh! Isn't that amazing? So yeah, when you get to any one of these areas, what you want to do is clear it out until you run out of fruit. And what I was doing in my walkthrough um, on another save file was I was noting down which trees had how much fruit until, yeah, I was done with each of these. <laughs> so, th it's really hard to get a 100% run on a regular save file without having uh, this map here, which is why I did it on a regular save file, because a lot of people don't see that, but yeah. This is generally where you would get your fruit from, because it's really, really difficult to find all the fruit trees without a said map. So yeah, there's a nice visual representation of said fruit. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I tackle another Colossus. Who would have guessed? <laughs>